Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to my YouTube channel once again. Today, we're going to do the unboxing of the Zawi FK1 Gamer Mouse. So, we're going to talk about this. So, stay tuned, guys. Just let's go move on and unbox this. All right, guys, here it goes. So, right here again, this is Zawi FK1 Gamer Mouse. So, this package is bad boy. Now, I heard about these guys before I proceed to the unboxing and open this bad boy up is I heard a lot of good things about this and it's kind of crazy that this company they only go with optical mouses you never see I never seen Zowie going with a laser mouse they only go with optical because they want for people who go with these mouses they are serious gamers now the reason why I am not kind of like real extreme serious but I like to play for fun I also like to be serious in games like FPS or any type of game that I really like a, a lot so it really depends for me so bought this for $59.99 pretty much one thing that you don't have to worry about when you go with a Zowie product is you never have to worry about updating the firmware or installing drivers it comes this already with the mouse already let's open up this babble up put a nice packaging from Zowie Thumbs up for that. So let's get this out of the way. So what comes inside the box is the mouse itself, which is ambidextrous design. Also designed for claw, but also fits perfectly well as a palm grip player myself. Now, one thing already that I like about this company already is providing you extra mouse feet. And this is not like small mouse feet. These are big, nice, large kind of mouse feet, which is awesome. So if these things wear out, you can switch them up right away. I wish I could see more companies that go to this route. When you're buying their products, they give you extra mouse feet. That is a huge plus for me. Thank you, Zowie. Also, <laughs> T. <tea. laughs> anyway, that does not come in the with this mouse. <laughs> so of course they give you this nice Zowie sticker so you can put this anywhere you want on your butt <laughs> so the mouse itself now this mouse looks extremely kind of familiar to me already I'm gonna put it in front of the camera for you guys can see it yourself it does look like almost compared to this stair series mouse like almost it's right there it's almost comparable but why, one thing I like about the Zowie mouse, no braided cable, just a regular wire cable. And the good thing is braided cable does kind of make it a little bit heavy to move around left to right with the cable itself. No braided cable, the cable is light as hell and you can move pretty fast left to right, especially for those low DPI gamers, which is awesome. Another thing that you don't have to worry about, again, is installing no drivers. Which is that's another again, also in my opinion. Now we're gonna plug this bad boy up. Now the good thing I heard about this mouse also, this button right here at the bottom, is to adjust your DPI. Now you got about about four stages of DPI. You got 400, 800, 1600, and 3200 DPI. And also you want to adjust the polling rate. So you flip at the box. It says you gotta hold down your if you want just a thousand polling weight you gotta hold down button four before you plug in the USB if you want 500 um, polling weight or 500 Hertz you have to hold down button five or you really want to go old school 125 Hertz you have to hold both of these side buttons together so again side button four side buttons for 1000 Hertz the back button will be 500 hertz and we press both, both of them together it's gonna give you a little go back to a little bit old school to 120 hertz but you gotta do that before you plug this to your back of your computer into a USB port so I'm gonna remove this cable this twisted tie wrap thing so I'm gonna remove this I'm gonna stop the video again and I'm gonna I'm gonna plug it in so give me one second. Okay, guys. guys, thanks for being patient again. So, see, mouse is already plugged in the back of my back of my USB. Now it's powered up. 
Now this is the thing I'm talking about. Right now it's at red LED. When it's at red, that's 400 DPI. When it's at purple, it's 800. When it's at blue, 1600. And when it's at green, that's 3200 DPI. But I'm gonna use 400 DPI because that's been using lately, and I love it already. So again. If you guys like this video and enjoyed this video, remember comment, subscribe. Please be safe. And remember, don't do drugs. Drugs are bad. Make sure you're more as a dumbass or a dumb person. You know, that was stupid I said. But anyway, good night, guys.